The other day, I was wondering what are the different options or platforms available to run LLMs locally. It turns out that a lot of people wish to use or test the open source models without sharing a lot of user data. When I was exploring the options, I found out that three ways to be particularly easy to install and use even for people without programming knowledge. So in this video, let's look into those three tools we can use. Let's particularly focus on DeepSeek, which is the most sought after model right now. So without further ado, let's get started. So one of the first ways I can think of to run DeepSeek locally is by using GPT for all. So if we visit nomic.ai slash GPT for all, there's a link to download for your operating system. Because I'm on a Mac, it says download for Mac. If we click on that, it will allow us to download the DMG file. So I've already downloaded that. As you can see, we've got it already downloaded. So I'm going to open that and see how we can go about running DeepSeek. So this is the GPT for all app. And on the left, we can see that there's a models. So if we click on models, it says add model. Then if I click on add model, we can see a list of models that are available. And under that, we have the DeepSeek R1 distill, which is a Quen 7 billion parameter model that's distilled. And we also have the Quen 14 billion parameter model that's distilled and also Llama 8 billion parameter model that's distilled. So I'm going to stick with the smaller model, which is the Quen 7 billion, and I'm going to click on download. So this model will be available for us to play around with once it's been downloaded. Let's wait for a bit. It has now completed the download, but it says it's calculating. Probably it's trying to figure out if it has sufficient memory to run the model locally. As we can see, the RAM requirement for this model is 8 gigs. So if you have a smaller RAM, then you probably have to resort to a different model. For example, if you go for distill Quen 1.5 billion, then the RAM required is just 3 gig and the file size is also pretty small. But this model I have downloaded needs 8 gig of RAM and, and the storage is 4 gig of memory. So now that the download is complete, it shows us the remove button if you want to remove the model. And if we have a model that is not compatible with the hardware, for example, this model needs 16 gig of RAM, but I only have 8 gig. So it gives the warning it's not recommended for your hardware model requires more memory than your system has available. So once the download is complete, we can go to chats and we can start a new chat. It says load DeepSeek R1 distill Quen 7.B, which is the uh, which is the one that we have downloaded. So if I click on that, it allows us to load the model. So the model is loaded now. We can see the model in the drop down. So if we have multiple models, obviously it will allow us to choose which model we want to use. And now we will have the ability to ask any questions. So what is the speciality of DeepSeek model, DeepSeek R1 model? Let's find out what answer it comes up with. DeepSeek R1 is a large language model developed by the Chinese company DeepSeek. It's, it's specialized in handling complex scientific and technical tasks, providing professional and accurate responses to questions in fields such as science, technology, medicine, and education. The model leverages extensive training data and advanced algorithms to perform tasks like question answering, text summarization, document generation, and more, making it a valuable tool for professionals requiring precise and specialized information processing. That's fair enough. And it says start for four seconds. Okay, so that works. That That's one of the ways to have the DeepSeek R1 model running locally in your machine without any access to the internet. Actually, we can test if it has access to the internet. We can just ask, what's the weather like in London today? I'm pretty sure it doesn't have access to the internet. So it's going to say that it's not able to provide real-time data. It says, I'm unable to provide real-time updates, such as the current weather conditions in London. For accurate and up-to-date weather information, please refer to a trusted weather service or website. So that is running locally with full privacy and it doesn't have any access to the internet to send or receive your personal data. So the next way I can think of is LM Studio. We can download LM Studio by accessing lmstudio.ai. So once we are there, it, it has downloads for Mac or Windows or Linux. So I've downloaded the Mac version for on my machine. Because I've downloaded, I'm not going to download again. Once we download its DMG file, we can see that it's lmstudio.dmg. So I've downloaded and installed it. I'm going to run that and see how we can run DeepSeek R1 locally. So I've now downloaded, installed and opened LM Studio. This is the LM Studio. On the left, we can see chat, developer, my models and discover. So if I click on discover, then this pop up comes up and we can see the list of models that are available for us. And we can also see the Quen 7 billion distilled R1 model or the uh, 
R1 distal Llama 8 billion parameter model. And if we want one of these models, we can choose that and click on download. So I've already downloaded the Llama 8 billion one. If we have downloaded, it says use a new chat, but if we haven't downloaded, then it shows the download button and the size of the model that we will be downloading. And it also shows the model card with all the technical details for each of the models. Let's click on use in new chat and let's test out the Llama 8 billion parameter model. It has opened the new chat and it's now using the DeepSeq R1 Llama 8 billion parameter model as we can see at the top here. So I'm now going to ask the same question. What's the speciality of DeepSeq R1 model? So in the previous test, we used the Quen model, but now we are using the Llama 8 billion model that's distilled. It is taking a while as it's running on a laptop. So it says, hi, I'm DeepSeq R1, independently developed by DeepSeq In. For detailed information about models, please refer to the official documentation. So this response is quite different from the response that we got with the uh, Quen 7 billion parameter model, but still it's all running locally. We can test it out if it has access to the internet by asking what's the weather like in London today. Says is thinking now. It's finally given us answer after thinking for six minutes, which is hi there. I suggest getting online to get real time information. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. So that clearly indicates that it's not searching the internet for any answer and it's running completely locally. So that's another way I can think of running DeepSeq R1 locally. The third and final way I can think of is by using Olama. So if we visit olama.com, we can see the download link. If we click on download, it allows us to download for your operating system. It's available for Mac, Linux and Windows. So I'm going to choose Mac and download for Mac. So it started downloading and once the download is complete, we can unzip it and we will get the Olama 2.app as one of the apps that we have downloaded. If we open it, it will ask us if we want to move to the applications. Obviously, we want to move it to the applications. So once the download and installation is complete, we can open a terminal and verify that Olama is available by checking Olama hyphen hyphen version. So it gives the version of the installed Olama if the installation went through fine. Now, if we just type Olama, it shows us the list of commands that we can use. For example, we can serve a model, we can create, we can show, we can run a model, we can stop, or we can even pull or push a model to the registry. It also lists the available model on your machine and it also lists the available models that are running. So all that we now have to do is go to Olama website again and find out what is the name of the DeepSeq model that we need to run or for that matter any other model that we need to run. I'm now on the Olama site so if I click on models it lists all the models that are available for downloading and running locally. We can see that DeepSeq R1 is right at the top. If we click into it it shows us the different models that are available under DeepSeq R1 for example the 7 billion 1.5 billion and even 671 billion if we can afford 404 gb of memory and if we scroll down we can see the different command to run different models so in this case what i'm going to do is i'm just going to run the smallest model that's available which will be DeepSeq r1 1.5 billion so i'm just going to copy this one and i'm going to run it in the terminal now it's pulling the model to run it's going to take a while to download so once the download is complete let's check if it works fine so it has downloaded the model successfully it has given us the command prompt to ask any questions so i'm just going to ask what is the speciality of deepseq r1 so there we have the response for the question what is the speciality of deepseq r1 it says that you know deepseq r1 is state-of-the-art artificial intelligence platform developed by deepseq its speciality lies in advanced capabilities across multiple domains including natural language processing computer vision machine learning and more specifically it excels in natural language processing computer vision machine learning and AI research, efficiency, and scalability. DeepSeq R1 is optimized by high performance across various models, allowing it to scale efficiently from small-scale applications to large-scale enterprise systems. In summary, DeepSeq R1 is a versatile AI platform that excels in handling complex tasks across multiple areas of artificial intelligence. Fair enough. And in fact, I find this answer to be much more impressive compared to the larger models. And it's given an elaborate answer, so I quite like it. So if we just 
type by then we're gonna come out of it and there we have it the three ways in which we can run the DeepSeq R1 model or any open source model for that matter locally so Olama suits someone who's familiar with the terminal and knows a little bit of programming but the other two ones which are GPT for all and LM studio is suitable for anyone without any coding knowledge so I hope this video was useful let me know in the comments if you think that there are much more tools available for running open source models locally until then i'm signing off and i see you in my next one take care